Hey friends, I'm Otis Gibbs, and this is my buddy Tim Easton, and he's going to tell you a story about the night he met Towns Van Zant. This story has changed for me over the years just because of how I perceived it. You know, that night, the night that I met Towns, I was his support act at a place called Barley's, and this is one year before he passed, and he had just gotten off the road from Europe, and uh, me and my buddy Joe Cirillo we're opening up. He played the washboard, which were made in Columbus, Ohio. And we'd already toured around Europe and had this little Sonny Terry and Brian and McGee kind of folk thing together. So we, you know, we're schooled in that folk music. So we're playing our opening set. And there's this guy in the front row. I don't even recognize him. I, I think he's a homeless guy, like a homeless Native American. That's the first. I'm still picturing Towns Van Sant from the cover of Delta Mama. I'm picturing this guy in the 70s with a brown suede jacket or something you know I, I i knew his songs because i had cool record store guys like make sure that i learned them you know and i i was a fan and i was really proud to get the gig but i did not was not prepared for seeing the man that was going to be dead a year later stand up after we were done walk up on the stage he just walked he, he we were finished he just stood up walked on the stage grabbed his guitar, he's moving pretty slow. He just wants to start playing. Um, his road manager is nowhere around. Um, he's not really with it, you know, you can tell. I'm not sure if he's strung out or drunk, but it's like, I'm like, oh, shit, that's Towns Van Zandt. And uh, he sits down. It's on record somewhere. I think Jerry DeSica actually has the, the um, has the uh, recording. He lives down in Texas, great songwriter. And um, he goes to start out with uh, Poncho and Lefty. He's just going to get right into the hit, but he he can't get many, many chords into it. It's not happening. So as you know from talking to people about Towns Van Sant shows, there was the magical ones and then there was the train wrecks. This is unfortunately in the, in the latter category. People are asking for their money back. Um, the promoter, uh, Kurt Schieber, he he says to me, is this the way you want it to go for you? You know, he's again, with the cautionary tale, the warning. I'm too blown away to even you know, realize what's going on. I'm in the second row kind of watching this happen. Town starts crying. Um, the audience is crying. Uh, a friend of mine in the audience, Jerry Wick, also a great rock and roll singer, a band called Gaunt. He's passed away now. He died. He was hit by a car. Um he swears at somebody else in the audience, drops an F-bomb. Town stops what he's doing and says, never swear under a roof. And that's that particular part of the story is I've been able to share with JT and Katie Bell, who uh, I just saw the other day here at Fat Bites. She's a, she's a bartender, and I was talking to her about that specific expression, never swear under a roof. And I've been trying to adhere to that, but it's, uh, I just thought it was a really interesting thing for him to, to bark out. He told a couple of jokes, tried to be lighthearted. I remember a woman came up and hugged him, tried to just relax him. Um, the show didn't go too well. After the show, he was doing great. We sat in the back in the bar. I brought him some fire water. We sang Hank Williams songs. Um, we harmonized on some Hank Williams songs. I sang a little off key. He was like, whoa. You know, he was like, he was like, again, then he was in great spirits. The show was done. He didn't, he didn't have to do that thing or be Towns Van Zandt anymore or something, you know, about it. So where it used to be a really romantic story for me is now a little bit more tragic, right? Yeah. I, uh, I bought this book for the sake of the song in, um, at South, my first South by Southwest. It was, uh. Butch Hancock uh, um, had Lubbock or leave it. Or? He had a store called Lubbock or Leave It. That's right. And there was a stack of these, like a huge stack of them. And it was just a couple of bucks. And I bought it. And um, the night I opened up for Towns, I was suspicious to ask my hero to sign the book. So I asked someone else um, to have him sign it. And he wrote, he wrote, Tim, take the money and run. <laughs> and uh, you can still get one of these online, but yeah, he wrote, take the money and run. Um, you know, it was just kind of a, 
one of the other things he did on stage that night was to talk about my songs and my, what I was doing, which, you know, for me sitting there, I was wondering what he was getting into. But I think he he did understand that I loved folk music, you know, and that, you know, I don't have the story where he's barking out directions for me to sing Wabash Cannonball, you know, but that that was the kind of vibe I was getting from that night. He's like, oh, yeah, you listen, you know, you listen to the heroes of your heroes and and learn something. So I wrote a letter asked to be his tour manager. I was like, I'm going to take care of this guy, you know, like thinking I could do anything about it, whatever. Jerry DeSick had called me the day he died. I was living in New York City, uh, New Year's Day, I believe, and um, and told me the news. And, uh, man, I, I wasn't surprised at all, you know. Um, but it's, you know, we have those songs now. And I I do try to find a light in that story that's, that's positive. And... Um, but it's very, you know, when I talk to JT or something, there's talk, I'd rather talk about fishing now, you know, because it's intense, you know. And he says in that thing, he's fishing in that in the documentary. He says, "Yeah, a lot of people are thinking about Towns Van Zandt, this romantic character. They weren't thinking about the dad that was gone all the time." So again, a huge re- effect on me with a ten year old daughter now, you know, is like, do I need to be on the road all this time missing certain things? And the answer is no. Um, I mean, I still travel and play, but. Uh, it's just it's a different it's a different feeling now. I, I don't want to be that kind of father, and I'm not saying that he was a bad dad, but I just don't want to be that kind of guy where my my kids dissing me in a documentary, and and um, you know I mean I just love him and I love his family and I, I just kind of wish them you know peace of mind today. When it, when it comes to the life, the traveling life, and the drinking life, and and the life of excess. Uh, there's a lot of romantic memories because it wasn't all bad, you know? And I don't think of that night with Towns Van Zant getting drunk with Towns as necessarily a, a bad memory, except in light of now what eventually happened to me where I progressed to get in more and more trouble, more trouble, mental trouble. For me, jail time, things that happened that were real physical um, results of my, of my drinking. So now I think of it more now as a little bit more, uh, a little less romantic and a little more uh, tragic because, you know, Towns was, he was gone a year later, right? And, and I have friends that have died, you know, young from drugs and alcohol. And, it, and I'd, I'll do anything, you know, today to talk to anybody about what I did, you know, to, to change, to alter that path. That's, that's part of my purpose now too, really. It's just like, you don't have to go through that. Yeah, all the greats, a lot of the greats seem to have this something going on, some obsession that drove them to be this way. And um, it's just, you know, it's a little it's a little painful when it comes to family, you know, when the, the children that are left over, that, you know, the, the adult children that grow up with that story, it's not easy, man, because I'm, I'm really lucky. I had a mom and dad that were there for me. And not everybody can say that. So when it gets to that stuff, it's like, I, I like to, you know, give me a call. It's easy to get a hold of me. I mean, I, you, can, you can get a hold of me really easily. You can find me on the internet. Let's talk about it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, subscribe to my channel and click the like button and tell me down below what your favorite Towns Van Zant song is. And I'll see you somewhere down the road. Much love to you.